I just got back from a vacation. I was in Belize and uh, it was phenomenal. And I had a, an experience where my expectations were exceeded, which is rarely happens in my life actually. Um, it's happened a lot more lately, so it's kind of nice. But when my expectations are met, I'm, I'm pretty happy. When they're exceeded, I'm, I'm blown away and I'm a, I call myself a customer for life. And I relate it back to real estate because what are we doing as realtors to meet because I know a lot of us aren't meeting them, but meeting and exceeding our clients' expectations. I can tell you right now, if I, have, I go to a great restaurant and I'm wowed by the service, I'm wowed by the food, everything's great, you guys can see, I'm blasting it to everyone. I'm telling everyone and their mom, you gotta go here. It's crazy what I turn into. People don't love it, especially at our company, because I can't stop talking. It's like, have you gone yet? You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. And it looks like almost sometimes as a paid endorsement when it's really not. I just went and visited Quicken Loans, I said this last time, and uh, I went and visited their entire headquarters and I was not a Quicken Loans uh, fan. I didn't know about them, to be honest. I didn't know much about them. I knew they do loans. I know some people loved them and didn't, but I, I wasn't a big fan. I saw their headquarters. Then I went to their isms class. I'm telling you guys, if I'm getting a mortgage tomorrow, it's crazy. I'm loyal. You guys know me. I'm the most loyal person out there. I'd probably do it through Quicken Loans, which is bizarre. Because I tell you guys, build rapport, build rapport, build rapport with the lender, which I'm not saying not to do. What I'm telling you is that the meaning of this, this story is, what are you doing to meet and exceed expectations? Because when you do that, you have people who talk. You have people who walk and talk. You have people that are walking, talking billboards for your business, your service, as a realtor, what you're doing. And so my, 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 my challenge to you, and I'm curious, what are you doing today, tomorrow, in the future? Maybe this is your wake up call to say, you know what? I needed this little smack in the face because I'm not meeting expectations. I'm not exceeding expectations. And I've kind of been drifting. What are you doing today and in the future until the end of the year to meet and exceed expectations. We all should be looking at ways to improve our business. I, you guys are watching me because you wanna improve your business, right? You're, you're, not, you're watching me to get motivated and improve your business. How are you improving it? Take the items, implement them. I see a lot of you guys in the comments are like, I use this and it was successful and it's killing it, wonderful. Continue to use it, you know? Continue to take advantage of the items that you have right here and, and, and apply them to your business and, and, and forget meeting your expectations. That's donkey, you know? Exceed them, exceed your client's expectations. Take the items I've already given you, do it, put them to your own fashion, and guess what? Put them to your client's face and watch them smile and watch them talk and watch them refer and watch you get more business and be consistent. And it's that simple. It's really not hard work. You just have to actually be consistent and do it, period.